With AT&T Collaborate Enhanced Mobile, you have virtually seamless access to business class voice features from your AT&T smartphone. We'll show you how to quickly get started with the Collaborate app. We'll also show you how to access more advanced features from AT&T Collaborate. We'll text you a link to download the app. Just tap the link and then download and open the app. Enter your phone number and tap continue. Next, check for a text message that includes your PIN. Enter your PIN and tap verify. Now you can access Collaborate features and settings from your smartphone. The first time you log in, you'll see a number of questions about Collaborate permissions and capabilities. If you want the app to perform these tasks, tap allow, otherwise tap deny. Each time you access the app, you'll see your Collaborate contacts. To search for a contact, tap the search icon at the top right of the screen. Enter the first few letters of the person's first name. For details, tap the person's name. Tap an icon to chat, call, text, or send an email. Close the contacts profile, and we're back to the contacts list. If you want to make a call, tap phone, and then tap calls at the bottom right. Under call history, you'll see your incoming, outgoing, and missed calls. Now, what about voicemail? The way you'll access voicemail depends on the type of voicemail your administrator has assigned to you. If you have mobility voicemail, you'll access your messages through your phone's app. Your voicemail messages won't appear in the Collaborate app, but you can manage some voicemail settings here. You can choose when calls will go to voicemail, for example, when your number is busy or when you don't answer. You can select the number of rings before the call goes to voicemail, or you can send all calls to voicemail. If you have Collaborate voicemail, you'll use the Collaborate app to see and manage your voicemail messages and change your voicemail settings. To learn how, watch Enhanced Mobile Manage Your Collaborate Voicemail. Now, let's look at the call settings for this phone number. Click the three-line menu at the top left, then tap Settings and Call Settings. Let's check out the Call Forwarding feature. Tap Call Forwarding. Some features, like Call Forwarding, have multiple settings and some may need additional input. Tap to turn a setting on. When you're done, don't forget to tap Save. Now, close Call Settings and Settings. If you have the Unified Communications Bundle, you can access Workspaces. Tap the Feed icon at the bottom of the screen and you'll see your active workspaces. Tap a workspace and collaborate with your coworkers. To manage more complex feature settings, log into Business Center and open Collaborate. If you haven't registered for Business Center access, you'll need to register first at att.com slash ebiz slash sms. To set up your account to access AT&T Collaborate apps on your desktop or tablet, watch Set Up Your Account to Access Tablet and Desktop Apps. You'll find videos and step-by-step -step instructions on the Business Center help menu.